the shocking DNA link between Native Americans and a lost Siberian tribe. Deep in the frozen region of Siberia, a team of scientists stumbled upon a discovery that would change everything we thought we knew about the ancient history of the Americas. Buried beneath the permafrost, they found a skeleton that was nearly 10,000 years old. But it was the DNA of the skeleton's bones that would prove to be the real treasure. A treasure that would later reveal a shocking secret about the origins of the people who first set foot in the Americas. As the scientists carefully extracted the DNA from the ancient skeleton, they couldn't help but feel excited and curious. What secrets would it reveal? Would it confirm our current understanding of how the Americas were first populated, or would it change everything we thought we knew? The answers, it turned out, were far more surprising than you could have imagined. Cracking the Code of the Mystery of the First Americans The thing is, for decades, archaeologists and linguists have been studying the ancient history of the Americas, trying to figure out how the first humans arrived on both American continents. And while they had made some progress, there were still many unanswered questions. But with the discovery of the ancient DNA, scientists finally had their answer. According to S.K. Willerslev, a geneticist at the University of Copenhagen, a co-author of the new paper, the discovery was nothing short of groundbreaking. If the DNA from this ancient skeleton was closely related to living Native Americans, it might mean that the first humans to arrive in the Americas must have migrated from Siberia. But how did they get there, and when? The answer, it seemed, lay in the ancient DNA itself. By studying the genetic code, scientists were able to reconstruct the ancient migration patterns of the first humans who arrive in the Americas. It was a journey that took them across the Bering Land Bridge, a narrow strip of land that connected present-day Russia and Alaska during the last Ice Age. The journey was long and hectic, but it was then that S.K. Willerslev met Vladimir V. Petulko, an archaeologist at the Russian Academy of Siberia, and he shared what he found with Willerslev. Petolko unearthed two human baby teeth buried deep in the permafrost that dated back 31,600 years. The teeth were found at a site called Yana, a place that was once home to a group of ancient humans who hunted mammoths and other big game. Saying Dr. Willerslev was excited when he heard the news is an understatement. He was ecstatic and convinced that finding these teeth was a step further to understanding everything about the link between ancient Siberians and Native Americans. He and his team quickly got to work, extracting DNA from the teeth. It was a painstaking process, but the results were well worth it. The DNA revealed that the teeth belonged to two boys who lived in Siberia over 31,000 years ago, and it was the oldest human DNA ever retrieved from Siberia. While comparing the genetic variants in the Yana DNA with living and ancient people, Dr. Willerslev and his team discovered that the Siberian boys belonged to a previously unknown population, which the scientists called the ancient North Siberians. Who the ancient North Siberians were The ancient North Siberians were a very mysterious people, whose ancestry could be traced back to the early migration out of Africa. Little is known about them, but we do know that they were part of a group of people who eventually spread into Europe. But before that, they migrated to the northern regions of Siberia. That's not all. The analysis of the DNA also revealed that several thousand years before the Yana boys lived, the ancient North Siberians met people closely related to East Asians. The populations interbred and as a result, the Yana boys inherited a mix of the two ancestries. But what happened to the ancient North Siberians? Did they get genetically replaced, or did they leave behind a legacy that would change the course of human history? One clue to the answer to these questions emerged from a fragment of skull that Dr. Patulko and his colleagues provided Dr. Willerslev. The remains, dating back 9,800 years, were found at a site near Yana, called Kolima. Dr. Willerslev's team found DNA in the Kalima skull, and as they analyzed it, they couldn't believe their eyes. A small fraction of the individual's ancestry actually came from ancient North Siberians, but most of it came from a new population. Dr. Willerslev and his colleagues called them the ancient Paleo-Siberians. 
The DNA of the ancient Paleo-Siberians was so similar to that of Native Americans that Dr. Willerslev estimated that Native Americans can trace about two-thirds of their ancestry to these previously unknown people. But why were they unknown for so long? Well, the answer to this is a dramatic turn of events that took place thousands of years ago. The Unknown Ancestry You see, a third population of people with a different East Asian ancestry moved into Siberia, replacing the ancient Paleo-Siberians. This new group of people is the ancestor of most living Siberians, and their arrival marked the beginning of the end for the ancient Paleo-Siberians. But why did this new group of people move into Siberia? What was it about this harsh and unforgiving land that drew them in? Well, according to Dr. Willerslev, it was the abundance of resources that made Siberia an attractive place to migrate to. So they did. They moved into Siberia, bringing with them their own unique culture and way of life. But unfortunately, by doing so, they pushed the ancient Paleo-Siberians to the sidelines, replacing them as the dominant population in the region. Dr. Willerslev estimates that it was 24,000 years ago that the ancestors of Native Americans and ancient Paleo-Siberians split. But the story doesn't end there. In fact, here's where things got even more complicated. Shortly after the split, the ancestors of Native Americans met and bred with another population with genetic ties to Europe. This is why today, all living Native Americans carry a mixture of genes from these two groups. But where exactly did Native Americans emerge from the meeting of these two peoples? Sadly, the answer to this is still a mystery, one that scientists are still working to solve. But there's a possible explanation. Since the Ice Age was at its peak 24,000 years ago, and different populations across Siberia and surrounding regions may have retreated into refuges where wild game still survived, it's possible that the Native American population emerged from one of those refugees, possibly on the land bridge that links Siberia and Alaska between about 34,000 and 11,000 years ago. Ann Stone, an anthropological geneticist at Arizona State University, has mentioned that although the Native American population may have emerged in a refuge on the land bridge, she warned that testing this idea will be quite difficult because finding human remains of that age will be hard and time-consuming. There's also the fact that the Bering Land Bridge that once connected Siberia and Alaska is now gone, submerged in the Bering Sea, and with it, many of the secrets of the past have been lost. The melting of the glaciers at the end of the Ice Age drowned the bridge, taking with it any human remains that might have helped with more research on the link between Native Americans and the lost Siberian tribe. Regardless of these challenges, scientists are still making progress. The Interbreeding Between Native Americans and a Second Wave of Ancient Paleo-Siberians Dr. Willerslev's team has found evidence of a second wave of ancient Paleo-Siberians who reached Alaska sometime between 9,000 and 6,000 years ago. These people made contact with Native Americans who were already living in the region and they interbred. The result is a mixture of ancestries that can still be seen in the DNA of living Native Americans. But Dr. Willerslev's team's evidence of this is not without its controversies. A separate study by a team headed by Stephen Schiffels of the Max Planck Institute for the Science of Human History in Germany has come to a different conclusion. According to Dr. Schiffels' team, the ancestry of Ndene speakers, a group of Native Americans who live in Alaska, Canada, and the Southwest, can be traced back to a mysterious group of people called the Paleo-Eskimos. The Paleo-Eskimos first emerged on the Arctic fringe of Siberia and Canada about 5,000 years ago, and they spread all the way to Greenland, leaving behind a trail of distinctive tools and artifacts. But then, just as suddenly as they appeared, they vanished. The last signs of the Paleo-Eskimos date back to around 1,000 years ago. While the debate and disagreement between Dr. Willerslev and Dr. Scheifel are still ongoing, one thing is clear. Thanks to Dr. Willerslev's research, we now know the DNA link between Native Americans and ancient Siberians. If you'd like to be kept in the loop on what renowned scientists find out next, 
Subscribe now to our channel because we've got a lot more in store for you and we're just getting started.